Looking at this challenge in the lesson traversing a list, it tells us in the code cell below, use list iteration to accomplish the following. In a list called even nums, append all the even numbers from the original list, iteration list. Similarly, in a variable called even index, collect all the values which are associated with the even indices, right? All the values that are stored in even indices, right? Uh, index 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. Um, and uh, it, from that original list, right? And we'll call that um, iteration list. So um, we know we're going to be doing a for loop here. So let's say uh, for num in... Um, my iteration list and um, we're not writing a function don't know why I did that um, for that number in each of my iteration list right but I know that I'm gonna need an index right I'm talking about indices here so you know instead of doing this I'm gonna say for index in range of len of my iteration list right um now i'm dealing with um indices right so i have i will be able to access both the values in my list using slicing square brackets um, as well as actually the index value right for um my list so let's go ahead and um, i know that i need a list called even nums right where i'm going to collect all my even numbers and I'm also going to need this list even index, right? The values that are stored in even indices. So let's say first, if our number is even, that means if it's evenly divisible by two or the remainder is zero after modulo division, then we are going to append the number. Right, and the number, how we access the number is with index slicing. Now, that takes care of one thing. Now, next thing, if our index, right, if the index is even, then we want to even index dot append, right? But we're not appending the index, we're still appending the, lit, uh, the value from the list um so if here right again this is going to look just like um inside of the previous statement and then um we want to just return these two things right i'll assume it just wants them in order um so we will first return even nums and then second we will return even index just for review right we can return multiple things there'll be a tuple um, let's go ahead and give this a test, make sure it works. It says, I have an error here. Let's see what it is. Um, I have a return outside of function. Oh, I'm just in function mode. I don't even need to be in function mode. We're not dealing with the function. Don't know what I was thinking about there. Checked out for a second, I guess. Um, I've got these lists I've appended. I'm not inside of a function, no return needed. Um, looks like num is not defined, right? Um, I started with num. I was gonna iterate through the list, but I messed that up. Um, what we're doing, right? We're checking the number itself and we're doing that by using uh, the name of the list in our square brackets, our index slicing. Uh, now we're in good shape, right? Now we can actually see that this functions the way that we would want it to. So um, there's another way to do this using the enumerate function. That's not going to be introduced for a couple of lessons, but you can actually get uh, iterate through a list and get indices uh, all at the same time in a for loop, which is really handy. But for now, right, this sort of brute force where you use the index is the best solution. So that's it for this lesson. Uh, next lesson is all about traversing a single nested list, and we'll see you over there on those videos.